set 15 on November, November 12th. It is opening day of Vermont rifle season with the back end of that hurricane that just came up. We just got poured on for all of yesterday afternoon and most of this morning until about right now at 7. So, hopefully that will get them up and moving. Um, there's been a little bit of rut action here, not too much. I haven't been getting pictures of really any buck, but that doesn't mean they're not right there. They're just not maybe going in front of the camera or something either. I'm actually down... I'm down the hill pretty far um, from my, from like where I shot that big deer last year. I'm probably down the road a bit, maybe a mile. And then um, pushed into the woods about 150, 200, probably 200, 250 yards actually. And then I'm down from a little field, probably almost 500 yards now from where I've moved. For, I'll say 400. And off to my right is just old clear cut, old like a long time ago. Super brushy, you can't even walk through there now. And then it, this is just open hard hacks right here pretty much. And a little bit of brushy spots, but kind of comes up from my left after going down a bit and then it kind of levels out but it also goes down a little bit into front of me where it kind of funnels a little bit and then probably a couple hundred yards in front of me it drops straight down kind of and then just funnels way down far so I the property and up to my right all this brush it just comes down behind me or to, to me and behind me it funnels down Behind me to my right, it just follows down into some open hardwoods again, so. She'll be good deer habitat. I've seen a ton of deer in here before, a ton of doe, and I'm, I'm hunting the doe and not a specific deer because uh, hopefully I'll catch one in heat and get a buck running, so. Seth's up behind the house right now, and our stand, his first time ever hunting Vermont, and it's really, really thick in there where he is, so. And in front of him to the right is kind of open so he can get shots in there. But I figured if he wants to shoot a deer, if he's going to shoot one, that's going to be probably the best spot for a rainy day. Because it's so thick that we bet it down in there. So I got to get out of here at 9.15 and go to work. 10.2, I'll be back out here probably 2.45 till dark. I'm probably back in here at uh, tomorrow again when it's colder. So hopefully the deer start moving. All right, 2.30 in the afternoon. Back in the same spot. I just got back from work a little bit ago, so. Only had a short day today. So. Rained, no more rain at all. Winds picked up a little bit. It's gotten a little chillier. Hopefully, the deer are moving a lot more now. No one on the hill or next to me really seen any deer yet either, still, so. Hopefully that means I'll start moving soon, but who knows. We'll sit tight here. Hopefully one comes by. If not, I'll try and get a hot dog to come through here to bring in, bring in Mr. Bucky, all right? So, we'll sit here, wait up for a bit, and see how it goes. All right, November 13th. 6.40 in the morning, I'm up behind the house, not, as, not to where I shot that one last year. Um, I'm down the hill, behind the house, a couple hundred. So, it's way thicker in here. Up top, it's really thick, and then it kind of just, it's just thick all over up top, and then it ledges down, and then it's really thick down here. It goes down into a creek in the old road. And then it shoots back up, way up behind me. And then all over that way is all thick. Going up the edge of the ledge. And then straight in front of me, it's just come straight down. So I've seen, 
I've seen Doe walk across the top edge of the ledges. I've seen him cross down to my left, where it's super, super thick, cross, go up it. I had one, I had a buck, probably, I think it was a big five, that I was a little two years ago, two or three years ago, come over from my left down the gully, right along with the stream, come up to me at about 60 yards, turn and go straight, and then over and across the road. Um, and he just ran the whole time. It is really thick in here, so it's going to be hard to pick out a deer past 80 yards, probably, to my left. Straight, I'll be fine, and then when I start getting up to my right, going up that hill, it's going to be... I won't see them until they start going down along the ledge, so... We'll set that here. This is where Seth sat yesterday. Um, but it's thick, so... It's, there, it's bedding. I've seen them bedding here many times, so... Let's just hope a buck comes cruising for a hot dough or they come piling in from other hunters pushing them out, getting to the stick stuff bed down. So, let's sit here, see, see what happens. Hopefully, a buck comes cruising through. You see, it's really thick down here. And then it just gets thicker and thicker. I can kind of shoot into here a little bit, depending on where he is. And it goes up into there. All that thick stuff I can't shoot. On that bag ledge behind this tree is where I've seen him pop up before. Going up that ledge. And I've seen him walk the back edge of that. And then all this is just kind of see it's a road that goes up. And then you can stay up there again. So hopefully. Hoping they come in right into here somewhere. Or they come over from my left. So. We'll sit tight and wait. Big tripods at the house today. Cause I started out in the tree stand and I didn't really know where I was gonna end up. So I didn't carry anything with me today. That's just that down there is a big ledge. All the way back here, you can walk down that under, or, or you can't see right here. You can walk over that, but it's really steep. On that, you can't walk down at all. And then, that scrape is just back there where that, dead, where that tree is split right there in the middle. It's behind that about 20 yards, so. I'm hoping it comes from somewhere over here or up and down this drainage, though. see something tonight so fingers crossed all right it's like 4 45 now you can see there's two deer there's don't and fawn right there so hopefully a box right with them in these last couple of minutes we'll sit that here and hope so i just got a clump of them and i said oh that looks like deer so Shooting line 
it's just about over.